Hi guys, it's already the end of December and the end of 2017. Oh, that went by fast. Okay, so I have to do my Cape of Month review for December 1st. And it's two pretty tiny stacks. So I didn't get many albums, that's one thing, because, well, there's a lot of Super Junior things to buy, plus post is a bit slower. It's not as bad as the two previous years but it's still worse than it usually is, which I can deal with, but still I get stuff in uh, January and not in December, so it's only these two stacks, plus there was like one order video I could upload, one single order video. I still have a couple which I filmed like in October, so yeah. I just don't want to change the thing that I unbox all the albums I have. I mean, it's just... I always did it. So, you know, whatever, let's get this started. So, of course, first I got the post version of Super Junior's Play and it needs to focus. Like, oh my god. This is actually beautiful, but it's a bit awkward on the shelf. So, I don't know about it. Uh, I mean, it's not that bad because at least it's on the top and if the repackage is like smaller Then it's not that bad like I mean this is like like almost like in, It's not that bad. It's just maybe this part if it would touch something else Plus it's a very nice plastic anyway, so not to mention that the box is actually completely filled with photo book and That's like first or something. It's, it's amazing. These photo books are life. I love these so much. So then the next things, which I can't put on top of this, so Pentagon didn't even go away, they already made a comeback. So Demo 02 came out. As a mini album I still prefer Demo 01 but as a title check, oh my god. Runaway is definitely their best song, I love it so much, I'm addicted to it. I searched up all the like, dance practices and like switch part versions, uh, double speed and all those things. So yeah, and it's like my top, well not top three because it's just two places, but they are in here and oh, I love them. Oh, well, I love all of them, so yeah, it's a very nice mini album yet again and I just kind of hope it's going to be a trilogy again because of packaging just see three of the same again like it would be nice I guess then the same thing uh, there is one more thing I got in the package and that was Snoopers second single album for their second de debut anniversary and it's called Dear it has the same packaging as their first single album which is an unuploaded unboxing of course but it's not like Snooper albums uh, unboxings are doing well on my channel anyways because yeah you shouldn't ignore them, they are so cute, so... I'm glad to buy it as it was released. Then, Suju's Japanese single came out, and since it's F Japan specific, it was a lot more trouble to buy them. I mean, not that much trouble, but you know, more pricey. This is like, ar around almost a double price of the price that it would be. And this is less than double, so yeah, the normal versions are still okay. But since normally there's only one elf version, you get used to only paying for that, and then these just look ridiculously expensive. I mean, I get it that the seller needs to make profit, but honestly, I know that it often the elf version is cheaper than the normal version. Like, uh, cheaper for CD plus DVD was, like, it's usually 2,500 yens, and it's often cheaper than that for if it's a CD plus DVD app version, so it's just kind of annoying that they make so much profit of this, but I guess, I don't know, whatever. I'm just glad to have this. It has a very nice concept. I like it, even though Shindong looks funny on that picture. He looks like he's scared of something, but other than that, it's very nice. There's not much for pictures. In this, there is a couple in the CD Plus DVD one, as usual. Then, they also had a special version, which is pretty cool, but for the money, you just want more, to be honest. But again, it's out of Japan, so you just buy it and then get over it, and then don't think about the money that you have spent on it. That's what I do for everything ridiculously expensive, but what can I do? I buy everything Super Junior as they are released. Yeah, so there's that. Then some more albums which are not Suju. <laughs> so, uh, Debo is debuted. They are my babies. 
I didn't expect that much of them first, but then I uh, watched their pre-debut show, uh, Flower, Flower Boy Snacks something, and they are so charming, all of them. Like, it's really not just Drew Hagnion. He's very pretty, but they are even more good-looking members. And it's like, it's just like, they are so cute and funny, all of them. They have a really nice chemistry and their dances are over the top. Like, just watch one dance practice and you're blown away. Like, I have never seen something like that. I mean, there are big groups that dance so well, but I just feel like this dance for the boy, this choreography is like an other level of awesomeness. Like, like it's just impossible. Like, I was wondering who's the worst dancer and I honestly can't spot it. Like, in most groups, when I watch it enough, I can spot the one who is like a bit weaker. Still dances the choreo, of course, but you can see that they like the weaker, they are the weakest dancer. But like, I, I just don't know. I mean, I know the top dancers. I recognize that, like, look at them and, whoa, you dance well. But like, just all the rest of them dance so well as well. Not to mention that they, they are just so cute. Oh my god. Like, oh my god. Jen is so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god, Jacob. Oh, they're all just so good looking, to be honest. And like, my baby is the cutest. So, I'm just very, very promising group. And they have a very nice mini album. I like all the songs, so. And one last thing that I'm so glad I didn't leave for 2018 is New East W's Where or Here. Whatever you want to call it. Of course, I bought both versions in a different way, but I got both of them and I'm so glad I have them because, well, I, I just really want to like collect New East. I mean, I always planned to collect New East, but they were that group. Like There are a couple groups that just like never... Just, uh, I don't know. And then they became popular as well, so I was like, uh, yeah, let's get this started. And then I started collecting them. Finally, it's not like they have many albums anyway, so it's pretty easy to catch up, I guess, and then just have to keep up with their new stuff. But when it happens with too many groups, then it gets tiring. <laughs> Whatever, they're, they're very nice groups, so I, I just want to collect them. And let's hope we can actually see them as five for a while after Minhyun comes back. And there won't be contracted shoes, let's hope that. And as a Christmas present, I also got newest Rebirth, their first full album. And it's very exciting that I got this. It also has their previous title tracks. Yeah. So it has all five of them. And it's really nice. I still didn't have time to listen to this, but yeah, I got this as a Christmas present from Sabina, and I'm really happy I have it. It's like, just see, I already have so many newest albums. It's pretty easy to catch up. And the last unboxing I uploaded, which I got like in November, is JF5's the classic, their only Japanese release as GL5. They have another of their units in Japan, of course. And this is the B version. I already had the A version for a while now, but then suddenly B and C became out of print as well, so I went hunting. And then one day I actually found this one, so yay, I got it, one more to go. Um, it's gonna be a trouble to collect all of GL's Japanese releases because I do plan to collect them. I mean, I do plan to collect quite a bit of Infinite as well, but since Infinite is, like, still gonna have releases, it's different. Because JR just won't have releases, so I just want them all. So, plus I think they have less anyways, so even with the units. So, that was it for December. Not as much, there could have been more, but again, if I don't upload unboxings of new albums, they struggle, <laughs> so, yeah. But whatever, January should be filled with New Year's videos, which normal people can film and upload in December. I can't because exams, like, we have a really long exam period, and you think that would make it easier, but like, it's like, if you don't have a week to study for your exam, you basically already failed, so you need that time, even if you study during the year, so we need that long, long exam period, <laughs> like, it's ridiculous. So, whatever. So, thank you for watching and see you in January. I mean, like, with a lot of different kind of videos, not just unboxings. So, 